And Richard, what about shots for Chris Paul? Do you ex what do you expect out of him this season? I think he's a professional. He, he's always been a professional. I think he's going to go out there and. and for him, this is an opportunity to prove to other teams, like, that's a big contract that he has. That's a lot per year, and there's a lot left on it. So his job is to go out there and show that he can still do quite a bit so that he can maybe make himself, uh, you know, tempting for another team to bring in because that's a lot. And so I think for him, he's going to go out there and play a great brand of basketball. He's going to be the floor general like he always has, but it's just more to make himself more enticing for other teams. But I think, I mean, it seems to me that he would welcome the opportunity to actually go – he keeps saying, I want, just want to go hoop, which I know is a cliche. Yeah. Look at me like that. This is but you don't think he actually is going to want to play a little bit more basketball than well, he's been able to play in the last couple of seasons? He just want, I, I be, firmly believe that Chris Paul wants to win a championship, that Chris Paul yeah. wants to win. It's not going to happen in Oklahoma City. Yes. So ultimately, if you're at the end of your career and you have your money, you have your contract, this will probably be the last contract that he signs, mm -hmm. right, unless it's a short-term one or a small amount. He needs to get to himself to a team that can give him an opportunity to compete in the playoffs. This is not one of them. Yes, I just mean that the idea that he will have a different basketball floor to work on than he had the last game. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think the thing is we always focus on stat lines. Oh, his stats were this when they were off the floor and when he was – I don't think it's that much. Same thing we talked about Russell Westbrook yesterday. It's not the stats. It's the involvement. There's a difference between I didn't get my numbers and, man, I didn't do anything. I stood in the corner and I watched somebody else do stuff. And when you're Chris Paul and literally your entire basketball life, the ball has been in his hands. The main decision maker, the main playmaker, the main, the main engine that makes whatever team he's been on tick and go. It's hard to then just be a bystander. Yeah, and, and this has been the big conversation about uh, Russell Westbrook, right? Like, how are him and James Harden going to play together? You look at Chris Paul, who is, you know, on his way to being a Hall of Fame point guard, and how much his numbers drop. And Russell, to me, has more of a kind of an explosive personality, more of an explosive game, where he can just get the ball and go, and everyone else is trying to play catch-up. So it's going to be, that's going to be the number one conversation. One thing I want to say about Oklahoma Tell City us. is, this isn't a bad team. This is not the Cavs or the Wizards or like one of these why bottom you, why are you I'm just on I'm teams. putting it Jeez. in perspective for people to, to understand when I say it's not a bad team this is a team when you talk about Chris Paul Shea Gilgis Alexander Danilo Gallinari Steven Adams. Adams that is a great 10th place team in the West, in, in the, the east, east, in the East, that'd be a playoff. Team. And in the East, in they, the are east be a playoff they are definitely a top nine or ten. No, team they'd in be east. a playoff team in the East. When yeah. you when you left Cleveland for Denver, yes, and it was not the situation you maybe envisioned for yourself, yes, in that year of your career, yeah. how did you? deal with it I started coming to ESPN more yes. and doing more <laughs> and doing more segments here <laughs> yeah. that's what I started Let me just doing say. that's what I started doing hello everybody <laughs> I'm Richard year, Jefferson the yes. welcome to the was, jump the year he was with the Nuggets I remember seeing him in the lobby of the JW and yeah. I was thinking oh is Richard coming in to do the yeah. jump with us and someone said no the Nuggets are done I said I didn't, to know, do I didn't know he was on the Nuggets. I thought he retired. Well, you know what it was? I mean, is because the Nuggets didn't make the postseason, and neither did I. So that's why it seemed, it seemed weird. <laughs> but for the adjustment for you for the first month or two particularly, how did you talk yourself into, hey, I'm, I'm playing basketball this year? Well, it's different. Like, Chris Paul is going to be a starter. Yeah, yeah. He's going to – for me, I had already accepted that role of just being a veteran, helping the young guys. I actually had an opportunity uh, around the trade deadline to go to a playoff team. But me personally, I invested so much time in the Trey Lyles, the Jamal Murrays, uh, the Gary Harrises that I wanted to help see those young guys through. I wanted to help them make the playoffs. Even if it wasn't from on the court, it was more of just like a mentorship. Yeah. And so I actually turned down a role to go to a playoff team uh, – because you invest that time. And I think Chris Paul now, even though he'll be on the court, he has an opportunity to really show people kind of in a different way than when we talk about Carmelo Anthony, mm -hmm. right? Like he can be that great player that can also invest in a lot of young players and help them rebuild. But we both know that he's a professional, mm -hmm. but that's not where he wants no. to be at this point in time in his career. I don't Good think it's where he wants playoffs. to be. What? Good job getting those young guys to the playoffs. Yeah. I don't think that's yeah. where. I don't think it was my fault. Like I said, I wasn't on the court. Oh, you <laughs> I wasn't play. on the court. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I don't think it's where Chris Paul wants to end the season, but I see the advantages he sees with being there at the beginning of the season if mm. he wants to do other things later. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports analysis and highlights, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.